Hey everybody, welcome to No Jumper News. It's Adam 22 here with your man, Crip oh, Mac. Uh, Crip Mac in the building. Oh, uh, five, five, Crip. First story, dozens of Netflix employees and their supporters staged a walkout outside of the company's headquarters in Hollywood in protest of the transphobic comments made by Dave Chappelle in his latest comedy special, The Closer, released earlier this month. The workers who are organized by Team Trans are demanding that Netflix set aside a fund supporting trans and non-binary talent to attach a disclaimer to The Closer saying that it contains transphobic language, misogyny, homophobia, and hate speech, among other requests. Images and videos of the event shared on social media have been met with support from prominent LGBTQ celebrities, including Wanda Sykes, Elliot Page, Dan Levy, and more. Elliot Page expressed solidarity from a distance, tweeting, I stand with the trans non-binary and BIPOC employees at Netflix fighting for more and better trans stories and a more inclusive workplace. Wanda Sykes, the stand-up comedian who identifies as a lesbian, tweeted, standing in solidarity with the Netflix employees speaking truth to power today and sending my full love and support. Supporters of Chappelle also showed up to the event holding signs that read, don't cancel free speech, learn to laugh at yourself, and free speech is a right. In the weeks leading up to Wednesday's walkout, Netflix faced mounting criticism from celebrities and employees inside the company amid suspensions and statements from the company defending Chappelle's creative freedom. But on the eve of the protest, Netflix's chief content officer Ted Sarandos admitted that he screwed up his response to the fallout saying, what I should have led with in those emails was humanity. Sarandos told the Wall Street Journal Tuesday evening, I should have recognized the fact that a group of our employees was hurting. Netflix, however, has yet to fully respond to Team Tran's list of walkout demands. All right, so Crip Mac, have you taken the time to uh, watch Dave Chappelle's latest special? I ain't watched Kiss. What's it talking about, though? Well, I mean, the most controversial stuff was definitely his comments about the trans community and, uh, you know, him being a little bit critical of them. I mean, cuz, they, 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 that, that shit is out, cuz, that shit, that shit ain't nothing nifty on 50s. I think that that's why they are outside of Netflix right now, is they're fighting for their right to be just as nifty as everyone else. They can't use the motherfucking word nifty. They never will see nifty on hood. I don't think they're using that word for the record. I'm just trying to- No, sort of but it ain't shit gonna you. ever see nifty with them on hood, never. I guess what I'm taking from this, you're more concerned with Dave Chappelle's freedom of speech to tell the jokes he wants to tell and offend the people that he wants to offend than the trans community's right to not get offended by the jokes. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, cause like this, like the, the, the trans shit cause not nifty, you fired me, so. I mean, kid, the, this subject is all trash on Rolling Crip. Can I keep it 55th straight? If you were the CEO of Netflix, what would you do? I mean, kid, we gonna get these custer ass, Trans motherfuckers is about here, come on, you fight me? Keep Thanks. it 55th straight. There it is. Next story, Jack Boy and Kodak Black have shared a strong connection for a long time. However, their relationship seems to be on the rocks as the two have been going back and forth on social media for months now. Most recently, it looked like the two were ready to move past their differences after Yak extended an olive branch to his childhood friend and sniper gang signee. In his message, Kodak began grieving the recent death of Sniper Gang associate Wiz the Wizard before publicly asking Jack Boy to bury the hatchet and hug it out. Fucked up feeling when you can't even explain how you feel and even when you do or try to, you get judged by your feelings, he wrote. Then funerals turn to photo shoots. You can't even grieve in peace. He added, let's use this as a wake up call at Jack Boy. Shit get real crazy real quick out here, unexpectedly. And fuck this distance, love. Come give me a hug. On multiple occasions, Jackboy refused to speak ill about Kodak, but it looks like Yak has not been as respectful, seemingly trying to ruin Jackboy's current relationship with Asian Doll. After Asian Doll tweeted about how she wants a Lamborghini truck for her birthday coming up in December, Kodak responded saying that she chose the wrong man to date, dissing Jackboy by indirectly calling him broke. That's why you post a Ben with Psycho Bob. Trying to hook up Asian Doll with Psycho Bob, one of Kodak Black's friends. By now though, everyone including Kodak knows that she has been spending time with Jack Boy, so fans believe this is probably Yak's way of trolling his old friend. Have you paid attention at all to the breakup between Kodak Black and, and his former artist Jack Boy? I haven't paid attention. You fight me, you know what I mean? I, I don't know Cud. You fight me personally, Kodak, you fight me. I just don't like what Cud was saying about Nip. Mm. You fight me on hood. Get close to home. On hood, cut about about cut wife like that. Cut like cut. You fight me. That that was disrespectful. Mm. On hustlers and then cut grab his birth mama ass. I can never do mama bear, or granny bear like that. Cut. No. 
I, I could never. I would never will. My you mother was me? a beautiful librarian all her life, and I'm glad that I never grabbed a handful of her cheeks. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's all bad. Huh? Well, that type of shit a motherfucker from my turf. Anybody would do something like that, cuz they would have fired show, got put off. Huh? Well, or worse. That shit ain't nifty on 50s. I feel like I'm in total agreement with you. You just don't touch your mom's ass like that. Like, that's just one rule that I got in yeah. my life. Never do that. Cousins, sisters, anybody you're related to, just do not grab a chunk of that ass. Yeah, that shit's out, Kyle. Huh? Anyway, so now Kodak and Jack Boy have separated, but Jack Boy got a new girlfriend in the form of Asian Doll, and Kodak basically taking shots on Twitter, saying that she's never gonna get the car that she wants because her man's not gonna be able to afford it for her. If, if someone came at you crazy like that, how would you react? Well, cuz, can I keep it 55th straight? 100%. All right, cuz, you know, I talk to older homies, cuz, you fight me, general snaps, so hood, shit like that, cuz, the pillow talking, all that type of shit, cuz, we take it in the 55th Street Sally. You fight me, y'all hood, call up the big homie, low down in them, cuz, we handle issues like that, cuz, niggas not doing no uh, pillow talking smut type of shit, cuz, I'm a disrespectful dinker, yeah, I'm a disrespectful dinker, cuz. I fuck in a Smigos wives, they see him, cuz I don't give a fuck. But uh, you find me somebody else close to me, a homie, something like that, cuz I ain't gonna do them like that, cuz I'm gonna keep it 50 fair, straight. It's a respect level on mm. Hustus. YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back real, real soon.